Israel's first, last, and only single nationals, the bought, sold, and blackmailed John John McCain and psychopathic murdering scum of the earth Lieberman are blood hungry for the kill. It's certainly something Lieberman can't pass over. He likes them dead and preferably tormented and tortured first. There are few men on earth as evil as Lieberman and the rest of them are his compatriots from the same shitty little weasel world he comes from. Once again, it can't be said too often. Israel did 9-1-1. Israel did 9-1-1. And we have all the proof in the world. Do I have to say it again? Israel did 9-1-1. And they are behind the financial meltdown. With their generations entrenched, banker elite and they're behind the run-up and performance of getting all recent wars fought by other countries on their behalf. Period it is, an end of story. And we do hope the story ends soon, with them no longer being in a position to do anything. Ever again, anywhere, period. Period. having to say this over and over. I'm more sick and tired of a public so stupid that they can swallow the endless lines of horse shit these fiends keep delivering, steaming warm on a garnished plate, served by automatons with garnished salaries. Here we sit, folks, surrounded by slick porcine weasels with blood-stained mouths, surrounded by dumbass mouthpieces playing taps for themselves and their associates, out of key and with no mourners. As the curtain begins to come down on their drawn and caught of fuck destinies, and it couldn't happen to a better bunch of scoundrels, scum, slugs, and diseased donkey shit on toast, with roasted tribal sluts al fresco, delicious and delectable, served hot or cold, like revenge upon the latter, with some introductory Borgia soup blessed by the Pope. Let's take a little walk with him while he goes for a shit in the woods. They're scrambling, they're jumping and jiving on the floor of the Stock Exchange and everywhere else as they try to get out of Dodge on their way to that mystical and mythical home on the range. The only choice they have is world disaster and wars up the wazoo. They don't count the dead and dying with Satan on their side. Yeah, lots of people don't believe in God, but everyone believes in the devil. In Kali Yuga, that's what passes for the divine. Here comes Mr. Apocalypse with his walking stick, while Ehud Barak has got his hand on Michael Fassbender's dick. He's got his recreational periods when he isn't orchestrating things like 911 with Dov Zakheim and the rest of the crew. Did I happen to mention that Israel and MI6 along with the usual clowns did 911? If I happen to overlook this, I apologize. Should I forget to remember that I might have forgotten to have said it, I'll endeavor to remember again as we go along here. I might have forgotten, you know given that the general public can neither remember or even think in the first place. Talk about thankless jobs. I have one of those, but my invisible friends appreciate the effort 
and the hardened and legible footsteps in the dried mud on the way to Shambhala are more gratitude than I have any right to expect in the first place. Eh? Can I get an amen? Can I get a witness among the witless? Do you think you could hear the music any better with that iPod jammed up your ass? It's a Kim Kardashian world, where one of the most talentless rap artists in a bankrupt and craven tits asses and gun hoes can fall in lust with her in a gung ho ya strictly for publicity way. If it ain't P. Diddy, it's not truly inauthentic and poorly written and performed, only trying to be. As we go along, something absolutely sick and sinister is happening in Japan. Why aren't the world's greatest experts on the scene seeking to contain the damage? This I do not get. I don't get this at all. Is this so relatively unimportant that it doesn't matter in terms of being one of our most number one priorities? Why do I continuously keep hearing about one fuck up after another with no experts from around the world deeply engaged in fixing the thing? Someone knows things I don't know, which is no great surprise. On and on it goes. With one strange and inexplicable thing after another, with no operating instructions, explanations or disclaimers attending any of it. What the fuck is going on? I know we got phony alien invasions coming up, unless they're the real deal and that would explain a lot, especially if it has already happened. We know the minds of all the real life villains in our contemporary horror show, of what passes for reality, have already been possessed by the entrenched lower astral dark lords who have guided the twisted agendas of the ones we can see and have been seeing for thousands of years. Now here comes the Lord of Light with his broom. He's going to clean all along those infested demon rooms that have been playing on the internal Walkmans with no shut off for pause buttons in the heads of those so co-opted. Don't worry about the outcome, since it's already sorted on the upper end and only needs to be precipitated down as we're dwelling in the echo and aftermath, but just don't collectively know it yet. So it goes, hermanos e hermanas. So it goes. Shit on a shingle is what's for breakfast with five kinds of fried pork specialities like they put on those full English breakfasts. Yup, there's that other center of total darkness that operates as the world financial brain center the city in the heart of London. This is run and operated by the same vampires, siphon, lampreys that run the fictitious, shitty little country in the Middle East. If you want to know, you can know. If you don't want to know, well, there the majority of you are already, and you will then be brought to the state of knowing the hard way, as knowing is conferred upon you by the forces of change, which insist, that's right, positively insist that you know, whether you like it or not. That's going on right now. It's going on pretty softly compared to how it will be going on shortly. It's your call. I know you're not reading this, but it is in the air, if you care to listen. You'll hear soon enough in any case whether you are reading this or not. Myself, I'm looking at those hard, fixed footprints, and that's all I need. We've all got our priorities, and that happens to be mine. I made my choice, and I'm happy with it. I could have gone in a lot of different directions from here, but this seemed the most advantageous, since I can always come back in if I want to. One should always go to the opportune in the first place, lest that option be removed in the process of procrastinating, in respect of all that sublimating in the first place. Did I mention that Israel did 911, along with their damned and doomed associates? Well, in case I didn't, let's leave that 
as our parting shot in respect of that ain't all I got. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Selah.